Hello, my name is Lise Colucci, and I am one of the life coaches at queenbeing.com, where we help you to discover, understand, and overcome life around a narcissist. If you have any questions about narcissism, head over to queenbeing.com, where we have tons of information. The There is a link in the description below. And if you have any need for coaching, there is also a link in the main description of every video that has a link for coaching. So, um, and then the other thing we have that we offer is group coaching. If you have a need for that, check it out again down in the main description. So today I'm going to talk about the signs of a sociopath, what to look for and what to watch out for. So if that sounds good, hit subscribe and we will get started. So what is it like to be around a sociopath? What are some of the signs of sociopathy? There are a few things to look out for and consider that a sociopathic person may display. They may be deceitful or manipulative with their behavior, and they may do things for personal benefit, even criminal behavior. They disregard the safety and choices of others, and they act irresponsibly. So here's a few signs with brief descriptions. Number one, they lack empathy for others, in particular showing a lack of remorse. They may seem indifferent to the harm that they cause others. Number two, impulsive behavior, which can look like a person who rapidly changes jobs all the time, or someone that's always changing housing status or, or situations in life like that, where they're frequently just really unstable even in relationships. Number three, attempting to control others with threats or aggression. They use aggression all the time. They fight, they are hostile, they're aggressive with their words. This can include extreme passive aggressive uh, types of things where they are manipulating and it's very obvious that they're being aggressive with their words, even passive aggressively. They have a hostility about them that is, well, it's antisocial in nature, right? Number four, using intelligence, charm, charisma, or otherwise to manipulate others. Number five, not learning from mistakes or punishment. They have a lack of accountability. They have a lack of accountability, a serious lack of accountability. In fact, they're almost indifferent to the mistakes that they make because again, if you go back to number one, they lack empathy and they display their lack of empathy through an indifference toward the harm they cause others. Number six, lying for personal gain. They tend to be huge liars. Number seven, showing a tendency toward physical violence and fights. Number eight, general superficial relationships. They may have people in their lives, but most of their relationships are on a very superficial nature. For instance, I knew someone who was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, and I would say that all of their friendships were based solely on the activity that they were doing at the time. Now, most of us will base relationships on that with some people, but we also have deeper relationships with other people, if that makes sense. So those superficial types of relationships where they could relate about an event or a topic or something of interest, they had enough of those to make it look like they had a pool of friends, but instead what they had was people that they did things with that were related specifically to the specific thing. And I can't say that within those relationships, they were exactly healthy with the friends that they did have. So that's what I mean by superficial relationships. Number nine, sometimes they're stealing or they commit other crimes. Often they commit other crimes. You can include things like harassment, identity theft, and illegal occupations in there. Number 10, they may threaten suicide to manipulate you without any intent to act on it. Number 11, abusing drugs and alcohol. Number 12, trouble with responsibilities such as job or paying bills. Now, the thing is that any one of these could be pretty much anyone, right? Any one of these things that I've described here. It's not that someone who doesn't um, have a stable job or isn't able to pay bills is a sociopath. It's the combination of these signs that are the makeup of someone's personality. The main point here is just like in narcissism, the lack of empathy for others creates the inability to have accountability for their own actions, 
And that right there is one of the more dangerous things because how can you relate to others and relate to society in general if you do not care or have empathy or any regard for anyone else in society? So those are just some of the signs of sociopathy. I'm hoping this clears it up if you're confused about someone that you're dealing with in your life and think that they may have sociopathic or antisocial traits. So for now, I'm going to leave it with that. Just do this short video to give you some idea about what sociopathy look like. If you've dealt with a sociopath or have any questions about sociopaths, hit me up in the questions section below in the comments and let's talk. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Don't forget to head over to queenbeing.com if you need anything regarding narcissistic abuse recovery. Bye-bye.